Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer TV, pop culture, or you know, you just want a new messy best friend, honey, I got you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be very, very grateful. Um, you guys, today's video is a lot more serious. It is dealing with a lot of, um, you know, it's a very serious matter and um, I want to do it with the utmost respect. Um, so listen, uh, the mother of George Floyd's daughter has uh, uh, files a $250 million lawsuit against Kanye West for harassment, defamation, and infliction of emotional distress after the comments that he made about the way that George Floyd unfortunately passed. Um, so I'm going to read you guys the statement of the lawyer that was sent to Connie West, okay? So it says, uh, Mr. West, we are contacting you regarding your recent statement in reference to George Floyd and his manner of death. Our office represents Mr. Floyd's minor child and her mother. As you can expect, our clients are very distressed and hurt by the allegations you made. Um, Mr. Floyd, cause of death is well settled through evidence presented in courts of law during the criminal and civil trials that were the result of his untimely and horrific death. Nevertheless, you have maliciously made statements that are inaccurate and unfounded, causing damage to Mr. Floyd's estate and his family. <clears throat> The Witherspoon, law, the Witherspoon Law Group, on behalf of our clients, hereby demands that you immediately cease and desist and remove the Drink Champs interview and all similar statements regarding George Floyd from every podcast, website, advertisement, and social media site, no matter the platform or medium. Uh, further, the Witherspoon Law Group hereby demands that you your attorneys, employees, agents, partners, associates, and representatives refrain from publishing or causing to be published any other audio, video, statement, post, etc. regarding George Floyd, his estate, his family, and the circumstances surrounding his death, including but not limited to his manner of death. We will take all appropriate and necessary legal action if you, your attorneys, employees, agents, partners, associates, and, and or representatives fail to comply with this demand. Um, it is, I just, I feel in my heart that I would love for you guys to, you know, tell me your piece at the comments. The only thing I just pray that you guys do is that you please speak with respect and please don't attack one another. Um, and that is what I just want to really, really, really put out there. My channel is about love and, um, Kanye West has definitely made some very horrific claims and I do believe that he needs to be held accountable for his actions. That is my opinion. Um, and I'm going to move forward to another Kanye thing, another Kanye story. Um, and whatever happens with this, I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, so it, so now we're moving forward to, um, so a lot of friends of Kanye West are the ones that he has left and even former friends are very, very concerned over him, especially after what the remarks he made of George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, um, you know, the Jewish religion, the Jewish community, all of these things that he is saying, going against, you know, the mother of his children and his, uh, her family. Um, he has done a lot of things and I'm pretty sure I'm missing tons of others, uh, what the White Lives Matter shirt and all of these things. Um, his friends and his close friends are actually talking, um, and they're very concerned. Um, some months ago, there was rumors that he was going to be placed or that Kim and Chris allegedly 
wanted him to be placed under a conservatorship like the one Britney was in. And um, there are some talks that they are very, very concerned uh, for Kanye and what he can do next. There's also been reports that he is spending his money like crazy, doing a lot of, um, you know, frantic uh, spending, and that he has isolated himself from absolutely everybody. Um, a lot of people are, um, are very scared for his life because he is pissing off and he is attacking and offending a lot of people. And um, there's some rumors going around that Kanye is very scared for his life, that he's very nervous for his life, that he's very paranoid at the moment, allegedly. Um, but one thing is for sure that um, he does have now a lot of enemies. And he's publicly asked uh, P. Diddy to come find him. He's publicly asked a lot of these uh, people in the entertainment business, you know, to go confront him with no security. Um, I I personally believe that this is not going to end well. I think that Kanye definitely needs help. And I think that he needs to realize, like I said in my previous video, that if every single person in his life, business or personal is dropping him, that I think that you should analyze I don't think that speaking your truth is a bad thing. I don't think that having your way of or your side of the political parties is a bad thing, even if you and I don't agree. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I think the most important thing is that the aspect of respect. And Kanye is speaking out a lot of things that have no respect right now. Um, so, you know, he he's, he's just honestly right now... Um, out of control and I think he needs to just take a second to heal and to really understand that um, he has gone very far. There's many actors and singers that once loved and supported Kanye and are publicly saying that they uh, will not stand with Kanye ever again. There's you know people in the fashion industry, most people in the fashion industry have dropped Kanye, music industry have dropped Kanye. Uh, media outlets have dropped Kanye. He's banned from Instagram and Twitter. The Kardashians have dropped him as well. Kim does not speak to him. Um, there's just a lot of, of people turning their back on him, you know, rightfully so. But um, I I think that um, I think that Kanye, his ego is way bigger than anything else, and I just don't think he has any ounce of humility left. I think his ego has taken over his body and whatever other mental health um, situation that he is dealing with. So um, what do you guys think of the lawsuit? What do you guys think of what's going on with Kanye? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I just please ask that you guys just treat each other with respect and with love. If we have different opinions, that is okay. Um, you know, we are allowed to have different opinions. I think having different opinions is a beautiful thing, um, but I just think that let's just respect one another. Let's meet halfway. And let's try and just, you know, um, speak our minds, you know, and, and it is possible to speak your truth without offending anybody. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.